So far, we have been talking about the selection of one item. Is that right? Select a card. Select a passenger. Select a person. A meaning one. So we're going to now talk about what's known as multiple selections. Meaning more than one selection. More than one. Now, more than one, okay, could be two, three, four, whatever. But I'm going to start off by discussing exactly two selections, and then we'll go on from there. Um, so, in other words, I'm going to give you what's known as the multiplication principle, or the multiplication rule for probability. And here, here it is. That is, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B if A happens before B. Okay, this here is selection of exactly two items. Okay? So A is happening first. B is happening what? Second. You guys with me on that? A happens first. B happens second. Okay? So remember I said that you could learn everything you needed to know about probability from a bag of marbles? Let's go back to our bag. Bag of marbles. <laughs> the marbles. Marbles. <laughs> and what was in our bag, you guys remember? We had what? Six. Four and two. How, how many marbles? Uh, we had six marbles of what color? Six yellow. Four that were green. Two that are what? Blue. Okay? So now we're going to select two marbles from a bag. Question is. What's the probability, okay, question one will be, they're both blue. Probability they're both blue. All right, let's start off with this one. What's the probability they're both blue? Okay, here's the deal with this multiplication rule. Um, when you're selecting more than one item, take a look at what's inferred. If you're saying, you know, one thing is happening before the other, although it's written that you are selecting two items, what you're thinking of is this. You're going to select them one at a time. That's the key. I know it's written as, hey, you select two of these items, right? You're selecting two. That's how it's written. Is that true? You guys okay with that? But the key here is you're going to select them one at a time. Okay, you guys okay with this? One at a time. That's the key. So if we keep track of what we're doing, we consistently go about it this way, you practice this, it's not going to be so hard. Okay? You okay with that?
So here we go. So the probability that they are both blue. Tell me if you guys agree with this statement. That means the probability the first is what? Blue. And the second is what? Blue. Do you guys agree with that? So see how this is written. This is written in a way that you're select you have two events, the first event, the second event. The first event corresponding to that first marble being blue, the second event corresponding to the second marble being blue. Okay? You okay with that? We're going to do this one at a time. So what does the multiplication rule say? What does it say? The probability of the first and the second event is, what do you do with these? Determine the individual probability separate, and then do what? What is that? Multiply. That's why they call it the multiplication rule. So the probability, the first is blue, times the probability what? The second is blue. If I have two probabilities, because I'm selecting two items, okay, I'm going to multiply these probabilities here for the multiplication rule. So let's go through the logic, okay? When you reach into this bag, what's the probability that that first marble is blue? Think about it. You reach in the bag, what's the probability the marble's blue? How many blue marbles are there? Two out of how many? Twelve. You guys with me on that? We're doing them one at a time. Now that presents us with a dilemma. You guys know what the dilemma is? Once you select that first marble, what do you do with it? Do you put it back in the bag? Or do you throw it out the window? Meaning, do you leave it out of the bag? You guys see what I'm saying? Once you went through, because you're doing it one at a time, once you selected that first marble, do you put it back in the bag or do you leave it out? <laughs> do you know what the answer is? Well, the answer is this. It depends on whether or not the person says, <laughs> you select two marbles with, are without replacement. So they can say with replacement, or they can say without replacement. So let's do this first example without replacement. You guys know what that means to be without replacement? Throw the marble, the first marble you chose, throw it out the what? Out the window. Okay? Throw it out the window. In other words, you're keeping it out of the bag. Now notice this. When you go and you select that second marble that's blue, stop and think for a second. What's the probability now that that second marble is blue, given that the first that you chose was thrown out the window? Well, how many marbles are left? Eleven are left in the bag. How many are blue? One. See, you guys okay with that? Go back again. Reach in the bag. What's the probability that, that first marble is blue? Well, there is two blue marbles out of a bag of 12 mar marbles. But, but then this without replacement language comes in when you perform the following selection. Once you selected, because you're doing it one at a time, once you selected that blue marble, it says without replacement, you keep that blue marble out of the bag. That's the key. You understand that, you master that concept, you've done a lot here with this. Okay, that's the key. You kept that blue marble out of the bag. So now it's a matter of you just simply keeping track of what you have in the bag. Well, if you kept a marble out of the bag, a blue one, that means there's one less blue 